Hey guys, what's up? It's more Hollow Knight with Mason and Paul, and you can't see me because I'm invisible. Just kidding. Um, I f uh, we found this path uh, off camera, and also we went to the store and bought a new notch that I can't apply anything to because everything costs two. <laughs> Dang it! I don't want to use that. We're going to fall down here and check out this unexplored part of the map. Wait, but you just uh, said fall down. <laughs> uh, I changed my mind. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, it's empty. Cool. I'm glad I did for this. For now, yeah. <laughs> but the that's where I get to keep my collection of. Uh, so we were talking a little bit off camera about. Uh, you said something about Doctor Whore. Yes. Or I'm sorry, oh, Doctor Who. Yes. I, yeah, it's a. That's uh, your thing. Yeah, you might want to lend some context to that. Yeah. Um. So I. I Naturally, I don't like time travel. Um, it's just been something that's been overused, overcomplicated, and like a lot of people use it as a cop out. Um, I'm not saying all time travel um, people who use time travel are. Like <laughs> that is that, the stupidest thing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, you talking about the thing? Yeah. yeah how it does the stupid like balloon letting out air thing every time you hit it. But uh, um, I I just call it Doctor Whore just because it it makes it sound Whore. more interesting to me. <laughs> yeah. Um, which, uh, I have watched some Dr. Horror episodes, uh, on your recommendation. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I like a couple. I wouldn't say yeah. that it's, like, it's my favorite series or anything. I don't really go out of my way. The only time I ever watch Dr. Horror is, uh, if, uh, Mason wants to show me something or if he feels like I'll like it, which I did like one. Yeah, with, uh, I have, like, I've learned to pick and choose with that stuff, and, for the most part, I've shown you the stuff that I was pretty sure you'd be into. Yeah, the the Raven one was pretty good with Clara. Yeah, um, the one where she... Uh, wait a minute. You know what? That episode's like three years old. She died. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't give anything away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just said the one with Clara and the Raven. Right, well, the... I mean, like, you can kind of figure from the na from the words that you used raven Wait, is there anything over there check your analog i don't think so use your analog to check it over there i can't go to the right well, you can look down that's yeah right. well there's no there, okay well, there's a whole thing over here let's see we oh it's just a short shortcut <laughs> cool yeah okay um yeah there's nothing over here. but anyway what were you saying about the... um what was i saying <laughs> you were talking about something interesting uh, happening <laughs> in dr whore oh well i mean well, dang it, I can't even remember. It was, uh, we were talking about the Face the Raven. Oh, that's right. Um, the episode is called Face the Raven, and if you know anything about Edgar Allan Poe, you should be able to figure out what's happening in it. So honestly, me saying that Clara dies shouldn't exactly be a shocker. What if they've never seen either? It's like they haven't seen it, and they don't... Wow, uh... you're in for a treat, then. <laughs> yeah. I would check Edgar Allan Poe out first. <laughs> Yeah, he's uh he's got some interesting ones. Uh, I, yeah. I like uh, the Cask of Omens a lot. I know everybody's like, oh, the Telltale Heart, <laughs> um, and all that. But like, I mean, there's some other good ones. Yeah, Quoth the Raven. That's so me. I can't remember that one. <laughs> it's Dang about it. um, it's about where he goes into this place with his. I think it's Annabelle Lee or something like that. Mm. And uh, it's their place where they can call their own. And it's it's a really nice place. And she eventually gets a uh, well. The Red Death, like, uh, <laughs> like, cause I mean, all of his family has uh, passed Ooh. away from uh, tuberculosis. Oh, something interesting, something interesting. Let's see what this is. Is that a boss or is that? A I friend? think it might be friend or foe. Hello. Psst. I, I can't it... interact with him. What the crap? Oh, oh my oh, gosh. He is a I'd worry about the one that's alive. Yeah, you know what you're right. <laughs> he slams his head into the ground. Oh, that's funny. Oh, there he is. I'd worry about the one that you're about to... Like, yeah, yeah, I get it. If he's got less health, and you can kill him, that takes care Whoa. of that. Ooh. Okay. I I mean, like, I know you want me to hit this guy, but the other one was closer. No, I know, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying it's more advantageous if you do it... Um, uh, yeah. Like, in cycles, I guess. Like, Ooh, that was close. I'm surprised I didn't hit you. Got oh, him. You got one. Yeah. Dang it. Stupid. 
I don't think he can reach that far. Yeah, he can. I'm cool. cool. Okay. This one was not so bad. Why don't you just be like a mini boss and not even like a yeah. actual boss? I don't know. Well, yeah. Ooh, you know what? Something. That honestly, that was a little too easy. Let's see. Charm Notch. Really? Ooh. You got another Wait, one. Minute. Cool. Oops. Uh, there. Uh, I have three notches now. Cool. So, I can make one Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. That, that's a joke about the creator of Minecraft. <laughs> Uh, wait, I applied Steady Body. I can get one of these guys. Soul Catcher or Stalwart Shell? Stalwart Shell makes it easier to escape from dangerous situations. Soul Catcher increases the amount of soul gained when striking an enemy with a nail. I'd say that one. Yeah. Honestly, you heal a lot, so... It... Oh, oh, dang crap. it, that's right. I keep forgetting. <laughs> yeah, the bench. <laughs> Stupid bench. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure there's going to be one coming up. Here. There's a mushroom hitting the wall. Where? <laughs> He was, like, in this corner. He kept doing this. Oh. He kept, like, banging his head against it. Is there, like, a little secret there? Me. I don't know. Well, no. Nope. Go to the right? I think you were... I mean, see if there's a little secret. Was there more? Oh, no, you to... mean down there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It looks like you can, like... Oh, okay. Mm. I guess not. What about them? It's weird, because it looks like some areas would be secrets. <clears throat> and Ooh, a sink like tied up doesn't here. end up... Okay, you can't touch it. Uh, then we have to go to the right. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a shortcut after you do something. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a, <laughs> that Marge Simpson thing. <laughs> you know, um, watching The Simpsons, I was like, man, I, I'm, I'm impressed by like, whoever plays Marge. Yeah. Like how she can do that And the see, the time. funny thing is, that's her voice. <laughs> that's her actual voice? Oh, you didn't know that. Yes. No, I, that I, is how she sounds. It's a, it's a slightly exaggerated version of her real voice. Man, that just seems like it would hurt the whole time. No, it's like, it, hurt, it hurts to speak normally for. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, one of the, like if you um, like if you're in a death metal band, and you have to do like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah, that that would just like hurt your throat. Yeah, you know, no just, kidding. Like, they have a lot of uh, uh, vocal fortitude. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, um, there was this band that uh, a friend of mine showed me, and uh, it's a woman, and she plays, uh, or, like, she's the lead vocalist, and she has, like, this deep voice, and it's, like, it's basically a man's octave, and it's, like, <laughs> she can she can go deep, and I'm, like, man, that is impressive. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There's so many of these guys, and you just hear that thing nonstop. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, well, they're all fun gals. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm <laughs> on the other side of this thing now. Cool. Oh, how do you open it, though? Maybe... Is there, like, a lever? Or... I mean, nothing I can see. Dang it! Okay, I gotta go back around. Oh, you're getting quite a bit of money, too. Yeah, you were at, like, 36, out. now you're at 189. I mean, it's not a lot of money for now, but, like, uh... It adds up later. Yeah, it adds up. Um, yeah, there's nothing to do over here. Hmm. Alright, well... Okay, so we'll go down and to the left. Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> you should heal real quick. Yeah, hold on. Oh, there's a little thing there. Oh, crap. Oh, that somebody's thing... throwing something at you. Yeah, this guy. Huh. Oh, crap. I did not realize oh, heal, it was going to be like that. Jeez. Okay. Good thing you got that... Thing for the nail. Their stuff explodes. I don't know if you can kill them. It doesn't seem like you're killing them. Yeah. No, I mean, like, I can. They're just kind of... They're very resilient. Hmm. I definitely knocked one of them out. Um, okay. More farting balloon guys. And oh, you know what? Um, I, I forgot to ask you last episode. Who's yes. your main in Smash? My main in Smash? Oh. That is Zelda. That is fishing information. <laughs> no, no. I mean, um, I mean, it's normally like, it's like Zelda. who? Who would? Okay, well, let me ask you this. I don't know if this will change the answer or not. Who are you best with that you feel like? Oh man, I don't know. I I used to be able to easily say Zelda. Jump on that ledge right there. Oh yeah. Oh, my gosh, that is a perforated ledge. Um, I don't know anymore. Like I found, I found out. You're like I just suck with all. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, I I did find out recently that like some characters that I didn't think I was that good at it, I'm actually okay. Really, that killed me. What? Oh, I missed it. I was. Yeah. <laughs> I like turned around for a second. <laughs> okay. Nope. Can't oh do man, that's you are right. all the way over here. Oh, oh man. 
Well, all you have to do is go to the left, like pretty yeah, much. Yeah. Where, where, okay, open your map real quick. Alright. Yeah, all you gotta do. <laughs> Dang! <Yeah. laughs> it does, it's not even on the map. It's Oh, because it's below. Yeah. I don't have the map for that area. Yeah. Well, at least you know where to go now. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, uh. So you said Zelda, right? Or who Typically, I play Zelda more, and I feel more comfortable using her. There was, um. There are a couple of characters that I'm decent with. I can I can do an okay Mario. I can do Peach. All right. Uh, a lot of female characters I'm better with than the male ones. Um, but I like a lot of the male ones for different reasons, um, strategic wise. Uh, anyway. Oh. Yeah, you have um, to go up. And yeah, then. yeah. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I don't know. I just. I, I can't even remember why I started playing Zelda, actually. I just, um... I started using her, and I realized all of her B-moves were amazing. <laughs> Feyor's Wind, uh, Din's Fire, um, and that one where you call the friggin', uh... uh the Phantom Soldier. Yeah, the Phantom. Yeah, the Phantom thing. That was awesome. That is from Phantom Hourglass. Um, go figure. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering, because, like, uh... I mean, mm. we, we play, and, like, I wouldn't say we're professionals or anything like that, but, um, I mean, some of the moves we just pull off are just hilarious. And yeah. Oh you have some really good replays. Yeah. <laughs> I remember there was one, it was with, uh, I think I was Sheik, and you were, uh, I think you were Marf. Mm hmm And, um, I remember that I, you, you got the Smash Ball, because it was appearing, mm -hmm. and then you were at the, uh, like, at the corner of the, uh, um, of the map. Yeah. And then I was able to get you with the that up B. Or, no, it was an up A, and then, and then you just died. But, like, it was at yeah. the exact same time. So you got that smash ball, and then I got you right at the side. Right, right, yeah. Which is funny, because I'm not really that good with Sheik. Yeah, that is funny. Yeah, Sheik, and, like, I... And that's the funny thing. Sheik, uh, spoiler alert, is Zelda's alter ego in Ocarina of Time. Um, and to me, she sucks worse than Zelda. I think she's good, but, like, it's just more of, like, uh, learning where her hitboxes land. Yeah. Because, oh, wait, I'm supposed to go down here. Hold on. Um, because uh, right. it's, like, wait, go on the map real quick? Yeah, yeah, I'm supposed to go down and then to the left. Yeah. So, let's go over here. So, uh, I mean, it's, I think she's good. It's just that it takes mm. a little bit of, uh, I don't like her down B. It's that weird little... Front flip or yeah, the weird little front flip thing where she kind of flips forward or whatever. Well, it's... I mean, Samus has kind of the same thing. Yeah, zero but Sam Samus. zero suits Samus's uh, move that is like that is better, and uh, to me, I can I mean I can control it better. Zero suit is another character that I was okay with. Um, I was I was actually pretty good with her. Um, not not necessarily proficient, just okay. My gosh. I mean, I would say that my <laughs> that best. Dumb. You should heal. You should heal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he can get you from there. Um, I would say that the the characters that I'm more like, uh, at least like, I feel like mm -hmm. I play well with, is uh, any of the swordsmen, mm -hmm. like uh, all the Fire Emblem characters, and um, Cloud's obviously my main because um, yeah, I I don't know. I feel like the most comfortable. Playing I feel is like him. you cycled your ability to play Cloud and Smash based on the fact that Final Fantasy VII is like your favorite game. <laughs> I would say that, but the thing is, he has uh, he's he's just really effective in like most mm. of his combat. Yeah, there are a couple of people who there's obviously a lot counter of BS him. moves in that. There's there's a lot of there's a couple of people who obviously counter him, mm -hmm. but uh, I mean, if you can work your way around it. Um, I mean, that goes with anybody. The person I cannot play is Olimar. Olimar yeah. and, and the Villager, I, I I, have a huge disdain for them. I'd rather play Pichu. <laughs> and Pichu hurts himself every time he does anything. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly like... I would say that if I had to pick three characters that I usually play, it'd be either Pikachu, um, which I know he's not a swordsman, but I like to play Pikachu. Um, oh, it's... Hold on, actually. Do I have to fight them again? Maybe. You, you should heal, though. Yeah, I know. Um, Pikachu, definitely, um, Cloud. <laughs> I love that. And, uh, Ike. And then sometimes Mewtwo. I, I kind of, I'm kind of getting used to playing him. Mm -hmm. I like his combos, more so, um, rather than, like, his floatiness. That was freaking easy. Yeah, because there was only one. Yeah. That was convenient. 
Yeah, oh, I, you know what? I guess it goes down with the thing like that. Well, after you beat them once. Oh, that's good. I was surprised they freaking did two <laughs> like that. Oh, it's a switch? Wow, I didn't even see that. <laughs> that's bull. <laughs> well, you're closer to your shade, so that's good. Yeah. Closer to my shame. Yeah. Which is everything. <laughs> Where is your shade actually? Uh, oh, it's in the, the. It's back in that room, but it's. I can't. Uh, it's no back. Map. Go back. It's in that oh, room over here. Yeah, you just have to go down, and you should heal real quick. All right. Yeah. See, like now that now that you're kind of, you feel like you're getting better at this, or no? A little bit. I it's do. Hard. I do feel like I've gotten a little bit more adept at understanding how a lot of things work um so this is wow <laughs> yeah i mean speaking from uh, uh like the fact that you don't normally play games like these that's what i'm like i'm asking um cause there I mean, he is he's over here oh okay yeah uh i need to get over somehow jump on the left no no, no. <laughs> to the left to oh left. that's right that's right I'm, oh my gosh i keep forgetting that okay no! Well, Stupid. Over here, idiot. Just shoot him with your... Whoa! Just shoot it. Yeah, shoot him with that. There you go. Oh, he was he was teaching. It's a tutorial. <laughs> All right. Wow, you got 300 and uh, <laughs> something. I just narrowly avoided that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so you're getting better at uh, jabbing down, so that's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, well, it, it it's a really effective uh, technique for... Oh, is that it? Can you summon a stag here? Uh, Hit the thing. Wait, oh, this? Oh, uh, I was talking about the sign. Can oh, you? The sign. I thought you had to break it or something. No, I guess mm -hmm. not. Uh oh. I thought you could summon a stag here. We haven't seen one of those in a while. Yeah, that is true. It would be pretty helpful to have one for a new area. Yeah, at least just to, like, uh, quickly go back. Right. Because, I mean, like, you have to traverse <clears throat> all the way back. Queen and... Station. Okay, there's got to be one here. Okay, listen. I thought he was oh, got to be. Isn't this something? I would not expected to discover such so huge a stag station after that foggy descent. Cool. The bugs of Hallow Nest must have been an impressive lot, building such grand structures so far into these wilds. Seems the dangerous creatures about haven't yet made their way in here. It's the perfect place for a quick rest. Speaking of... Alright. Hopefully uh, they don't charge up the ass for, um... Like, to put the stack station. Yeah. Uh, well, let's see. Because um, I think it was 60 or 50 last time you bought a stack. Do you want to hang out down here? What the heck? Go to the left, I think? Uh, alright. Because I think there's an opening. Yeah, yeah it's probably yeah. there. Okay. There's a bench. Cool. Well, uh, yeah, I'll save, save my your space. progress. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there oh, we go. Oh, nice. Uh, 120. 120. Yeah, sure. it's worth it. Yeah, I want to be able to get here quickly. I wonder if it's the same guy. Do you think it's like the same guy the whole time? or? Yeah. Wait, should I use him to get back or should I check this place out some more? I'd say check it out. Just All It right. was just a. Just in it was case. just to have him there. Yeah, because. Um... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My gosh. Oh my gosh, there's two buttons to do that. And I hit both of them on accident just now. Wait, I thought it was just one button. No, uh, the the right trigger also does it. Oh. Ooh. Huh? Oh, sexy thing. Oh, come in search of treats, have you? I chanced upon a unique little fungi. Is it fungi? Yeah. Fungus. Actually, it's fungus. Wait, what I, are you looking at? I'm... Fungus. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I was getting confused because like earlier I mentioned that like the pronunciation doesn't make sense with the way it's spelled, but it's not that. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Her name is Willow. Uh, fungus right going right above us. I have found it only in this station, and the taste is just divine. Okay. Good to know. Can I have some? I think that was it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Bye. <laughs> she she went back to digging her head up there. <laughs> it's like a. I like her. What do mm. ostriches do that? Whoa! Yeah. Can't get in there. Oh, oh it's it's a that's a hollow. Fr that's a, a face. The oh, thing for your mask. I need that. I don't know if we showed the. I don't think we did on the show it on the video, but I bought some of that stuff. Or did I? Did I, I show know. that in the video? I don't know. We bought we bought some pieces of stuff. Oh, new place. Fog Canyon. 
Oh, that's what the guy was talking about. Okay. We go back real quick. Just see if you can. Huh? What? See if you can. Uh, We're back get, in here. Yeah. See if you can get that piece. I mean. Maybe there's something above. Look down. Oh wait, yeah. yeah. There's a switch inside there, so okay, there's so an go alternate all the, way in. I don't think you went all the way down to the right. Yeah, okay, okay. That's definitely something you... Oh. Oh, so you have to get the wall jump. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, all right, well, as long, now that you know that uh, you have to do that... Yeah, that's, that is it's good It's something to, to remember. And we're definitely not going to forget, because that's, that's pretty important there. Yeah, yeah, I want that. Yeah. Uh... You want this cake? <laughs> I want it. <laughs> that's one of my favorite things of all time. I... I haven't even seen The Family Man all the way through, <laughs> but I, I know that part. I watched it, and uh, watching that animation, uh, for those of you who don't know, it's an animation by Harry Partridge. Oh, and he's so He's an good. awesome animator, yeah. Yes. Um, I know, like, he's taking things pretty slow, but it's because he's doing a lot, from what I understand. And he doesn't ask for, like, Patreon uh, supporters or anything But he like does that. take commissions. Yeah. Uh, every once in a while, he, he will take them, so if you... If you have some extra money and you want something animated, go to Harry Partridge. Not sponsored. Just saying. <laughs> I'd go back uh, since you yeah, already on. pretty much did it. Uh, where do I want to go? Um, back over here? Wait, actually, have you gone down? Oh, down this way? Yeah. Like, well, have let's you gone... see. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you've gone down there. Ah, okay. <clears throat> but um, uh, he's he's an awesome <laughs> animator. And Dang whenever it. we uh, we watch this video, um, Nicolas Cage wants cake. And it's yeah. from The Family Man. And it's it's so weird, <laughs> um, Ooh, it's a bouncy. and it's talking about that how he wants this cake. Yeah, it was his it was his cake in down. the fridge. I the jump button it only lets me go this high if I hold it. Oh, okay. So I don't know how to unless there's a oh jump down uh, like attack down. You're not oh attacking. dang it! Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, makes Rusty. sense. Um, <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> we remember watching that. And then watching it in real life, like the actual movie, it's it's really weird because <laughs> you can only imagine that. Well, yeah, and then uh, from what I understand, his character is very. Yeah, it's very. Uh, he's not. Uh, what's the word? Uh, expressive, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's weird seeing Nicolas Cage try to act like a human sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but that's I mean, not so... a dig against him. I I love his work. I honestly do. I, Even Sorcerer's Apprentice, you can't consider yourself a Nicolas Cage fan. Yeah, yeah, if you don't like Sorcerer's Apprentice. <laughs> Dragons. Uh, that guy, um, I don't know his name. I we used to know out of spite, I think. Yeah, he, um, the guy who... He uh, he plays the apprentice, not not the source. Well, I'm, and, wait a minute, no, Nicolas Cage was the Sorcerer's Apprentice. He was... He was just there. <laughs> he was the, the kid that was, like, under the Sorcerer's Apprentice's wing... Uh, I don't know his name. <laughs> yeah, he was, uh, he oh, voices guy. that guy from, oh, the map guy. Oh, my short friend, you caught me at the perfect time. I'm just about finished charting these noxious caverns. Noxious? Sure. Yeah. Uh, very terrestrial types make their homes within this area. I'd suggest avoiding them where possible. It's probably Further <laughs> bomb ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Further below, some strange thin creatures gave me quite a scare. They seemed an intelligent bunch for bugs. In my youth, I had braved these their caves, but I feared my matured physique wouldn't be able to outrun them where they turn violent. Where were they to turn violent? Were they to turn violent? Dang Whoa. it, I lost it there. His accent uh his accent it, it dissolved right at the end, yeah. <laughs> well, I was like, uh, too many words. <laughs> uh, purchase map of the area. Heck yeah. yes. Um, All right. Uh, that helps a ton. <laughs> well, that guy, uh, he he voiced uh, the main character in How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, yeah. Dragons. And um, I remember there was this one movie I watched of his where it's this time-traveling recliner. And oh my gosh, now that's dumb. <laughs> yes, it is. Now, the only reason I liked it is... Well, I didn't like it. I mean, the only reason I watched it... The one it, redeeming quality, you mean? I guess, kind of. But it wasn't Not even really. because of the actual movie. Um, it was basically... Somebody said it was like the butterfly effect. And I was like, that's, oh, one, of the, that's yeah. one of the only movies with time travel that butterfly I can Butterfly actually... effect. Every single one of the butterfly effect movies gets super intense. 
And it's because they keep looking for the most ridiculous plot twist imaginable. Yeah. The you were the, you were the one that hadn't seen the third one, right? I've only seen half of the second one and the first one. I didn't like the second one. Yeah. Well, the I can't remember the second one either actually. Um, but the third one was friggin' weird because it the guy finds out about his powers and he uses them for just whatever. Oh yeah, he works with the police. So he um he works with the police to help them solve murders, which is hilarious because it... You should heal. Yeah. It, it, it defeats the purpose of him having the power with the police, though, because if he goes back in time to fix their problems, he it, they never had those problems to begin with. So it's like the cops are just taking him at his word that he is like going back and solving murders. I guess the idea is that he really has nothing to gain from... Yeah, no, he's so. literally just doing it to be cool. Um, heal, heal. Yeah. And uh, I, I thought the premise was super friggin' weird. And um, either way, in the thing, he has a sister. Heal. Because if you take one hit, you, yeah. you're dead. Oh, jeez. Um, um, he has a sister in it. And, um, and they reveal that back when they were kids, there was a fire. Or something, or he goes back in time, and or whatever. There was a fire when they were kids in their childhood home, and um, oh, that's right. He originally he saved his sister, and uh, a, like I think it's about seventy-five percent of the way through the movie, you find out that his sister developed um, uh, what's the word? <laughs> uh, incestuous feelings for her brother. Oh, okay. And I swear I... T Dang it, really? Yeah, I told oh you. If gosh. you get hit one more time, you die. Then it right. takes two. Well, we're not... We're, we're okay. Yeah, you're not too far away. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it was like... That was probably the most ridiculous twist in, uh, um, in that series. And I was just... I was, like, overwhelmed by the, by the implication. And they threw it in right at the end. And I was like, really... Man, then you would not like uh, his sister, Game of Thrones. His sister's into him, and I'm like, what? Just because he saved her life. So at the end, they do the thing from the first movie where, um, oh, there was an alternate take in the first movie where he chooses to kill himself in the womb. Yeah. Um, yeah and then there's one where he sees her and he just walks away. Yeah, yeah, which is the normal ending. Yeah. Um, well, in the third movie, the, I don't even think this was remotely an alternate ending he just flat out uh, doesn't save her from the fire when they were kids so she dies i mean if that's the worst out of it it's like i mean might as well save her it's like you can just project her and stuff and it's like mm. well she'll just go on living and i think i'd imagine unless she was obsessed with him yeah well the, there was no way to say like I, I mean, like, to me, it wasn't as much of an ultimatum as the first one. In the first one, he felt like he had to do it because he kept trying to help her, and it kept backfiring every time he met her. So he realized that the only way to stop anything from happening to her was to never meet her in the first place. And um, But the thing about the, the third movie was that... There had to be a way to save her life without her idealizing him to that extent. Because there's no way that she became incestuous just for that. Mm. My gosh. Okay. I mean, people have their own ways of handling things, I guess. I guess. Man, that was it was freaking weird, though. I mean, it is a twist. Yeah, no, they got that right. And, I mean, honestly, if they made another one, I wouldn't mind. Although, I was a little bit... Dang it, they do this weird dive-bombing thing. And it just, like, it freaks me out. I can't do anything now. Crap. <laughs> well, how likely are you going <laughs> to die right here? Uh, pretty likely so far. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Let me just... If I take out the little guys, they're easier. <coughs> I can heal off of them. So, okay, so I just got to be very right careful. Dang it! Yeah. That is such bull. <laughs> <laughs> Those, those okay. guys are like, well, if you, yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna die, if, okay. if I'm, I'm gonna going die, after sorry. the smaller fish here, well, they're not fish, they're jellyfish. But I'll take him down. He can suck it. 
I just knew I had a safety net there. <laughs> yeah, well... Uh, oh, there's a way up here. Another way. Back to that guy about the time-traveling recliner. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and finish that up real quick. It, it, it wasn't... It wasn't that great. It was like... It was kind of... It was more or less kind of like the second one. And it wasn't... Um, like, or I'm sorry, it was more like the second butterfly effect. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, granted, I didn't uh, end up finish watching it, but I have. I don't think I've seen it either. It's. I don't know. It just wasn't that charming or anything like that. Yeah. And the acting was a little stale. Yeah. All I'll say is that I think you would actually get a kick out of the third one. Although I'm sorry I spoiled it. <laughs> yeah. Now I mean, there's not really much. Of... Yeah, but it's interesting either way. <laughs> if it had Ashton Kutcher, like. Yeah, actually, if Ashton Kutcher was in it, that would be something. They never explain the powers, though. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, like... I feel like it's more fantasy that way. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not sci-fi until they explain that there's a reason for it. Yeah, see, like... Oh! This is something. It's Rest! A it's a bench! Oh, and you can put, uh... Map! Tickets. Map updated. Oh, did it tell me where the bench is? Wait, I thought I needed a pin thing for that. No, but you can put trinkets on now. If there was oh, anything. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's do that. Oh, with the needle. That's right. You wanted to put the thing on with the needle. Was there anything else you were mentioning about the time traveling recliner? <laughs> no, that was it. That was it. Okay, let's see. Stalwart shell makes it easier to escape from dangerous situations. Oh, the soul catcher. That's right. Yeah. We're gonna do that. That way you can. Hear now I have no more notches. So, uh, that should do it. Um, so I saved my progress right here. I added a new uh, thing. And uh, next, we're gonna check out. Uh, I don't know what looks good on here. No, no, just I guess figure out where to go. I guess. Yeah, we're just gonna figure out where to go next episode. So uh, thank you guys for joining us, and we'll see you again tomorrow for some more Hollow Knight.